What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, March 5th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Hey guys, our cash game lineup optimizer is now live. Playing cash games is the secret to building your bankroll. So that's why we've created our cash game lineup optimizer that will generate a lineup based on the highest projected ownership. In cash game lineups, you want safer plays that carry less risk and are owned by a larger percentage of the field. By using the wisdom of the crowd, we will generate a cash game lineup based on ownership projections. This new tool is available right now, so come on in and start building your bankroll. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know, we added our first version of the XFL Position Optimizer which has projected points, projected value, and we're gonna have projected ownerships in there as well. We're gonna be adding more XFL tools to Draft Dashboard, so come on in and give those a try. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? So this is more of a FanDuel play for me. On DraftKings, I'd rather just pay 1,400 more and get up to Russell Westbrook, but on FanDuel, I like Kyle Lowry from the Toronto Raptors playing the Golden State Warriors, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Kyle Lowry has averaged 40.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 46, 34, and 46 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 37 and 38 minutes he's projected at 41 fantasy points here tonight that's just about five times value he'll need about 43 fantasy points on DraftKings to hit five times value because he's 8600 DraftKings salary but he's $1300 less on FanDuel so I love that FanDuel price it's a fast-paced game in a fantastic matchup so I like Kyle Lowry He's probably a lock for me on FanDuel here versus the Golden State Warriors. Okay, who do we have at the shooting guard position? I'm gonna give you a value play here. This guy's risky, but he's been doing well the last couple of games. I like Gary Harris from the Denver Nuggets playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the eighth worst defense overall, and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Gary Harris has averaged 20.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. He scored 27 and 25 fantasy points in his last two games, playing 34 and 29 minutes. He normally gets a ton of minutes, so he's got a lot of chances to score fantasy points while he's out there. He's projected at 19.6 fantasy points here tonight, that's only 4.4 times value, so he's gonna need about 23 fantasy points to hit five times value. He's 4,400 DraftKings salary and the same price on FanDuel. So I don't mind Gary Harris here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you wanna enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. But taking a look at this a little closer, you may want to go with a guy who's only 100 more on DraftKings and 200 less on FanDuel. I like Cody Martin from the Charlotte Hornets playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing shooting guards. Cody Martin scored 28 fantasy points last game in 34 minutes. So I think Cody Martin can hit value tonight 
So I like Cody Martin here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Paul George from the LA Clippers playing the Houston Rockets who have the seventh worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Paul George has averaged 38 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. He scored 32, 36, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, projected at 36.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value. He's 7,400 DraftKings salary and 500 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 236.5 points scored in this game. So a super high scoring game, a fast paced game, and a great matchup. So I like Paul George here versus the Houston Rockets. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? I like Robert Covington from the Houston Rockets playing the LA Clippers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, Robert Covington has averaged 28.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game, but he scored 50 and 46 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 34 and 38 minutes. So he's been on fire, projected at 30.8 fantasy points here tonight. He's gonna need about 34 fantasy points to hit five times value. He's 6,700 DraftKings salary and 200 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 236.5 points scored in this game, so a ton of fantasy points to go around. This is a great game to stack in a four-game slate. It's a home game and a fast-paced game, so I like Robert Covington here versus the LA Clippers. Okay, who do we have at the center position? I like Nikola Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the Charlotte Hornets who have the eighth worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing centers. The Joker has scored 47.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He's projected at 46.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's just about five times value. He's 9,500 DraftKings salary, and 400 more on FanDuel. This is a great matchup, so I like Nikola Jokic here versus the Charlotte Hornets. If you wanna try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck. This is a quick reminder, you should be reading the comments of this video. We have some savvy basketball fans who watch these videos and they often give great plays and call me out when my picks are wrong. Wisdom of the crowd is a great way to get a feel for what players the field likes in today's NBA slate. We also have a DFS tool that shows you what players our members like for today's slate. So you can come on in and check that out.
Okay guys, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit that red subscribe button. We put out new fantasy basketball videos every single day. So if you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification, you won't miss out on any of our new fantasy basketball and fantasy football videos. Tons of free stuff coming your way. It only takes a second and it helps us push out more fantasy content for you guys to consume each and every day. It's because of you subscribers that make this possible. So thank you for supporting this channel.